The physical internet is about shipping freight just like information flows over the internet. But do you truly know how that works? Did you ever wonder what route your email takes? Who owns the servers that relay your message? Or which internet provider is used by your receiver? Probably not. And you don't have to. You rely on the internet to securely deliver your message to the receiver. Imagine a world where your message is a physical object and you are the sender or the receiver. To ship physical objects, you use the physical internet. Just like the network of servers form the internet, a network of hubs forms the foundation of the physical internet. A physical internet hub sends and receives products. Products may pass several hubs in this manner. Final delivery leaves from the hub closest to the receiver. Products moving over this open and interconnected network belong to many different parties, who have in common that they are users of the physical internet. In this way, the physical internet is enabling full horizontal and vertical collaboration. Shipments are optimized for the whole network. This requires a constant quest for the perfect capacity use of the network. Physical internet cannot be realized overnight. That's why we have to develop a comprehensive strategy for research, innovation and market deployment of logistics and supply chain management innovation in Europe. Looking to the future, these are our goals. In 2020, we'll have realized interoperability between networks and IT applications for logistics. Around 2030, the supply chain should be fully visible. 2040 marks the birth of fully functional and operating open logistics networks. All culminating in 2050, when physical internet has become our new reality. To reach these goals, more than 30 varying projects and research studies have been carried out. Let's go over some of them in detail. Take Chillon, for example. Chillon aims to improve the quality and safety, transparency and traceability of the chilled and frozen supply chain. The development of eChillon smart labels, combined with the implementation of intelligent packaging concepts, represents the centerpiece of the research activities. What about the Tiger project? It has provided new logistics concepts for decongestioning of EU ports, connecting sea with inland terminals seamlessly. Tiger has provided the basis for assessing effectiveness and environmental impacts, identifying proper sustainability criteria and indicators, which have been applied to real case demonstrations. Tiger demonstrated four cases, with about 20 companies involved. We've got another one, Comsys. This project demonstrated collaborative information services for container management and ensured that such services can be used in real-world operations. It developed innovative ICT solutions to access, standardize, consolidate and deliver information from multiple data sources and parties. Using data drawn from the entire supply chain, Comsys provided comprehensive and accurate logistics information, allowing dynamic replanning, increasing efficiency and resources utilization. Two demonstrations, run by DHL and ECT, have proved the ability to create a global vision on data related to containers for ocean freights, unlocking extra value by improving accuracy and efficiency, reducing terminal dwell times. The Modelushka project proposes to use a new framework of interconnected logistics, especially designed for open resource sharing. Notably thanks to open standard on load units, real-time identification and routing through open facilities. In this framework, potentially all goods are encapsulated in smart, modular, eco-friendly and standard units loads and are handled, stored and transported as best fit in these unit loads through shared facilities and across open networks. The project ensures a global synchronization with concurrent projects in the USA and Canada within the International Physical Internet Initiative and paves the way for a common and early market implementation at the intercontinental level. And finally, CO3. 
It has set up the horizontal collaboration basic tools and business models and tested them on the first pilot project. Results of these pilots show a serious decrease in logistics costs and CO2 output, ranging from 15 to 25 percent. Companies like Mars, P&G, Kraft, PepsiCo and many others are implementing the first pilots. These are only a few examples, but one by one, all of these research projects and logistics are contributing pieces to a beautiful puzzle. Together we're developing new logistics and supply chain concepts and realizing innovations for a more competitive and sustainable industry.